Hello guys, welcome to my channel Tech Bulletin Prime. I am Rajni Kant, and today's video we're gonna discuss Git stars command, right? So if you have not subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe it and hit the bell icon to get all the notifications, right? So before uh, entering into Git stars command, let's see what exactly the meaning of stars, right? So let's check. Stars, sorry, stars meaning. So you can see here, store something safely in a hidden or secret place, right? So exactly like that, git stars can store your uncommitted changes to some hidden or secret place, right? What that git stars command will do? It will store your changes store your uncommitted changes to some hidden or secret places right so let's see uh, that practical scenario where exactly we'll use this one suppose you have two branches are there right you can see here feature client registration and another is release 1.2.15 and feature client registration currently we are in that branch and we are developing some new feature right we are developing some client registration module and we are in the middle of the development right it's not yet completed right in the middle of the development we are meanwhile some production bug arises and we want to fix uh, that changes or you want to fix that bug and release 1.2.15 right so that time what we can do we can move from this client registration branch to release 1.2.15 branch right so in this branch this client registration branch whatever those uncommitted changes are there we need to store somewhere by using git stars command right we need to store somewhere the, uh, these changes into git by applying git stars command then we can move to release 1.2.15 this branch and we can modify and we can push that code right once everything is done from this from this branch then again we can move to this client registration branch right and we can again apply those changes whatever those uncommitted changes from that secret places to this branch right so again we'll be uh, having those changes those uncommitted changes right so before committing uh, those changes we can store into some secret places and again we can uh, apply those changes to this branch so let me uh, show you what are the commands we can use so you can see here git stars so this command will make your uh, i mean it will store your uncommitted changes to some secret places and git stars list it will show all the uncommitted changes i mean it will show that whatever uh, those stasses are there it will store i mean it will show here git stars apply if you want those uh, changes to apply uh, some other branches or in some other branches then we can go for apply git stars apply and this is the different variant of uh, stars apply and git drop sorry git stars drop you if you want to remove those uh, stars from the temporary storage you can hit git stars drop and git, git stars clear it will remove those entire stars list right so it will remove that entire stars list from the temporary storage so uh, let's uh, see these commands practically so let me move to my sts so you can see here So in system explorer let me open git bash here so currently we're in the master branch let me show you what are the different branches are here so you can see feature j unit 5 migration this is another branch right and we have these are the local changes are there right these local changes are there so 
just i want to store this local changes to to some to store somewhere and i will move to this jnet5 migration branch and i will perform some tasks there and I, again i will move to this master branch and i will apply this changes right so first let's store this one to some temporary storage git stars right saved working directory and indexed state double ip and master so now that changes got stashed means those changes got removed from your local local changes and it will store somewhere right so if you see here now git status it will say your branch your branch is clean so the entire changes it's got removed from your local and it stored somewhere in the secret place right so this is git stars command so next is what git stars list right so if you want to see what are that in the local storage what are there so git stars list you can see here this is the changes are it's available in that secret secret place right so this is git stars list so now let's uh, move to that feature j unit 5 migration branch so let me move to this branch git checkout and paste it here right so currently we are in that j unit 5 migration branch so let me perform some operations here some dummy operations so just i have added one one lines of code then let's see git status you can see right that file got modified let me commit that one sorry i need to add first git add this is for a demonstration purpose it's nothing required so it's committed right now let's move back to our original branch right our master branch let's move to so git ch checkout master right so if you see in master git status there is no local changes were there right so here what we can do whatever we have stored in that secret place we can get those changes and we can apply in this master branch right so how we can do that one so different variants are there git stars apply and git stars apply that particular stars number right suppose if you have multiple stars are there then you can specify which stars you want to apply and this is another variant git stars apply stars at the right end right so this is how we can apply those changes right so let's see i mean you can uh, apply any of this any of this one git stars apply that stars number git stars apply this syntax or if you want to only the top top one then you can apply git stars apply so let's see what are the stars are available right so let me apply this one git stars zero sorry apply zero let's hit oh uh, typo error so git stash apply zero so just see 
those changes are applied from temporary area to our current branch right so just see again those changes are applied here right so you can apply like this those stresses now let's uh, move to another commands get stars pop right so pop means exactly similar to apply but in git stars pop what it will do so it will apply that stars and it will remove that stars from your stars list right but in apply get stars apply it will not move from those i mean it will not remove from those temporary area still those changes will be available in the temporary area for future purpose right so suppose if you see here get stars list still that stars is there right but if you use this command git stars pop then it will apply that stars and it will remove from the temporary storage so from the stars list it will remove right you can apply this one and git stars drop suppose uh, after apply after get stars apply you want to remove after you suppose currently i have applied right get stars and i want to remove this one so you can drop right so stars get stars drop zero so you can see dropped right if you check here git stars list now you will not get that one just see there is no stars so this is for a particular uh, particular stars if you want to drop or delete but if you want to delete the entire stars list so that time you can use git stars clear right that time you can use git stars clear suppose let me again do git stars now git sorry git stars list so you can see this here now it's a single stars is there suppose here multiple stars are there so that time you can use if you want to delete the entire thing git stars clear so if you want to delete the entire one entire stars list then you can apply git stars clear so uh, this is the entire uh, basics of git stars so hope this video will be helpful to you people please do comment like and share this video and yes don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you